Let's talk about global warming. Maybe more precisely, let's first talk about what's known as the greenhouse effect. The greenhouse effect is actually a very basic, simple phenomenon. You can illustrate it by the very words of its effect, a greenhouse. If I have a greenhouse, a glassed-in outside building, sunlight comes through, warms up the stuff inside, but the cold wind, the air, doesn't blow through, so the temperature inside is warmer than the temperature outside. And that's because sunlight comes in, but all the heat that's trapped is now indeed trapped and doesn't go back out. If the Earth did not have an atmosphere, then we would not have a greenhouse effect. In fact, no matter what's up with the Earth, we always are going to have that the energy coming in has to equal the energy going out. So there's the sun. There's a nice sun. Give him a nice smiley face. Maybe some sunglasses. All right. All right. All right, we got the sun, and the sun is putting energy on the earth. And this energy comes in, and that's our energy in. Now, if the earth were a rock, and only a rock, a dead rock, maybe like our moon, it would still radiate energy out. And if there was a hundred units coming in, there are a hundred units coming out. You see, if there was more energy in to the Earth than out, the Earth would get warmer. And if the Earth got a little warmer, it would radiate more energy. Everything radiates energy. Everything gives off electromagnetic radiation, light, for people we give off infrared light because our temperature is around 40 degrees centigrade. The relation for energy out and temperature is one where the energy out, given out by this radiation, is proportional to the temperature to the fourth power. So very small changes in temperature can produce a big change in the energy that goes out. Think about infrared glasses. If you look over the landscape, it's nighttime, right? You, there's the rocks and there's plants, and then there's a person hiding in the bushes. You can see the person bright as day as if the bushes weren't even there, because the person is so much warmer than the surrounding, they're giving off this radiation, this infrared radiation. And this infrared radiation is not sensitive to your eyes, but could be to some night vision detector. If there was no atmosphere, the energy coming into the Earth equals the energy out of the Earth, and the average temperature of the Earth is minus three degrees Fahrenheit. <coughs> that's what this equation, that's what this equation right here would tell us. So clearly this is not the whole story, because the Earth is not minus 3 Fahrenheit. We still have energy in equals energy out, but there's some more energy being recirculated. So now let's use our same example, and here's my Earth a little bit bigger. And I have my 100 units of energy coming into the Earth. The thing is that the Earth has an atmosphere. And this atmosphere takes this 100 units that was coming out from the Earth, and much of it, maybe not all of it, but much of it, is radiated and reflected back. Now, you still ultimately have some of this that gets through. We still have to have the hundred that come in has a hundred that comes out. But the Earth has warmed up considerably because it's actually radiating a much larger amount since 
everything except for this 100 is coming back. The average temperature of our planet actually is 57 degrees Fahrenheit. You can understand here what happens now if we make the blanket, we make the insulator a little bit better. Let's say we add something to our atmosphere, maybe some extra stuff, extra stuff that reflects this. So this isn't 100 anymore. Maybe this is only 95. Because we've added more blankets. We've added more insulation. We've added things that will take some of this radiated heat and bring it back to the planet. When we do that, all of a sudden, energy in is greater than the energy out. So the temperature of the planet has to go up. Since the planet and every other body radiates out energy proportional to the temperature to the fourth power, a small temperature increase, maybe to 58 degrees in this particular example, means that more energy is now coming out. Sure, more is still radiated back, but some net proportion comes out, so this number goes back to 100. This is the greenhouse effect. And if this greenhouse effect did not happen, we'd be a dead, frozen ice cube. Well, I don't even know if we'd have water in that. We'd be at a dead, frozen rock. The greenhouse effect has what's made life possible on this planet. The trapping of that extra heat has warmed the planet, put us in this habitable, habitable zone where water is a liquid, and allowed life to evolve. Greenhouse effect is not something humans caused. The greenhouse effect is something our atmosphere has caused, and we should be thankful for it. This addition, this addition of changing this balance is what recently has been caused by mankind. If you look at the actual numbers of what comes in and reflects, it's a little more complicated than the drawing that I made. You'll notice that there's clouds. And some of those clouds are nice, bright, white, fluffy things, and that sunlight doesn't get through the clouds, it just reflects off of them. You're out in space and you say, oh, look at all that white stuff on the Earth. Not the snow, but the clouds and the atmosphere, that heat never got to the Earth in the first place. It reflected off the clouds. Some, of course, is absorbed by the atmosphere. Some is absorbed by the clouds, which will radiate back down. Some is absorbed on the Earth. And the other white things on the planet, the snow, the ice caps, will indeed reflect some light as well. This actually gets you to think of something. Maybe we're adding too much gas to make that blanket better. But hey, if we added more clouds, wouldn't that just reflect more of the light in the first place? So there is a feedback mechanism. Who knows, maybe gradually warming the planet means we evaporate more water, we make more clouds. Those clouds reflect more of the Earth's sunlight, so the temperature doesn't go up quite as fast as it would. I wouldn't bet on that, but I do want to illustrate that there's a complicated feedback path.